everybody, it's Us The Wine Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne. And we are so excited to be here this evening. This is our inaugural Heart of Gold party uh, for the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Ontario. We are in for an incredible evening. Absolutely. The concept here, bring your gold. You're going to walk home with some incredible cash and at the same time support the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Ontario. Now we hold this event very close to our hearts because our mom passed away last October from heart and stroke. So we're hoping this is going to be the beginning of an annual event. Right, Suzanne? Absolutely. And Gold Smart is going to be weighing all your gold and assessing it and giving you lots and lots of cash for your gold. I think we should go and see what's going on back there, Suzanne. I know I brought a big bag of gold. <laughs> Got Sarah Waxham here, who's the editor and publisher in chief of Dime Magazine, and uh, she's—you've already been in there. You've sold your gold already, haven't you, Sarah? <laughs> yes, I have. Uh, business first, and then the enjoyment after that. Now, I understand that um, you have a little bit of history. Your husband had some problems with heart and, and passed away. Was it yeah. his death my, related to that? My uh, late husband was Al Waxman, mm -hmm. and for many years he yeah. was the honorary chair of the Heart and Stroke Foundation. And uh, he did a lot because he had um, uh, a heart uh, disease. And uh, instead of just writing a letter, uh, to all the people on uh, the, the donors list, he made um, a tape, <laughs> an eight track, <laughs> uh, and they and he talked, and they sent that tape out to everyone on their list, and they got so much more uh, money, so many more donations than they had ever received. It was really a wonderful idea. And I always come to Clarence because I <laughs> I live in the neighborhood, and the products are wonderful. That's awesome. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for coming tonight. So we're sitting here with the National Public Relations Director for Clarence Canada. Danielle Laroche is here. We're having a wonderful glass of wine and celebrating our Heart of Gold party in a celebration of raising funds for the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Ontario. Thank you, Danielle, for hosting the event. Hey, our pleasure. <laughs> Everyone has someone in their family affected or know someone that has a heart problem or heart disease. Mm -hmm. And we know that one of the main cause is stress. Mm -hmm. yeah. So why not taking the time to like, you know, cuddle ourselves, to pamper ourselves yes. and, and just relax and, and get the stress out. And how to do it? Massages, a massage, pedicure, pedicure, manicure, uh, facial, just mm -hmm. take the time. You know, and you don't have to take a long time. I know you're offering some wonderful services here tonight. Of you course. have the lip treatments, you have the hand, hand treatments. treatments. 15 minutes and you already feel the decompression. We always say um, a glass, I mean a cup of green tea, a piece of dark chocolate in the, in the afternoon, and a glass of red wine uh, in the evening. But now we're going to add a spa treatment on the weekend as well to our regime. What do you think, Georgia? That sounds great and you know to what? me. We also <laughs> offer the green tea. Oh, there so you go. So you'll get two for one. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll bring a glass of red wine. How's that? That's perfect. <laughs> Daniel, thanks so much for uh, have, letting us have our first uh, Heart of Gold party here at Clarence Skin Spa. We really appreciate that. Thank it's you so much. It's our pleasure. Well, we're in the hub here where everything is actually happening, where people have brought their gold and they're getting cash. Right, Angela? Now, Angela Best is from Gold Smart. She's, this is the company that is evaluating all the gold here people are getting the cash for. Yeah, absolutely. So we're a company, we've been in, uh, involved with this business now for about two years, and we do home parties and fundraisers and events at offices for, and we've been doing that for about two years, and it's a very popular thing right now. So tell us, what are some of the gold items that people bring in? I mean, people always say, people that I spoke to, but I don't have any gold. But you'd be surprised, wouldn't you? And if you go into your jewelry box, and, and sure enough, my sister pulled out and she got, I don't know, eight or $900, and she was thrilled. Somebody who thought she had nothing. Yes. It was an old ring that she had when she was in high school. Um, you know, her... Oh, I forgot my high school ring. I could have exactly. brought that. You Darn. Know, that people don't wear, we get. But we get the most bizarre things. I mean, we get teeth. We get... Teeth. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, that's my retirement back there. No, just that's right. So a lot of teeth that, like, if you're going to the dentist, ask your dentist if he pulls a tooth that's got a gold crown on it, take the gold back. We buy that stuff. It's it's amazing what we so, buy. So tell us, how, how does it work exactly? Um, the testers will evaluate the items and determine the purity of the, of the gold item. Right. And then we'll weigh it. And from the purity and from the weight, we can determine a value, a gold value. Well, a portion of the proceeds tonight, of course, are going to the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Ontario. That's right. So, uh, so they're doing something great. good here. They walk home with a little bit of money. Heart and Stroke benefits from it as well. And everybody's happy. So um, All the while enjoying a wonderful glass of wine, a heart-healthy appetizer, <laughs> and a good wonderful old, piece funny. of dark chocolate, which is also good for your heart. <laughs> to find out how much money I'm going to get for my gold. You had uh, some old uh, pins yes, you had, you had yes. made. And uh, they turned out to be 85.7 grams of 14 karat gold, which has a value of $1,040. Oh, that's not too bad. I'm here to pay you that money. Well, awesome. What do I have, my dear? You get $326. Oh, that's not bad. $326, and I'm not sharing uh, either. <laughs> That's now we're standing here with Vivian Glenn Cross, and uh, Vivian is with the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Ontario. And uh, Vivian, maybe you can tell us a little bit about um, how important these events are to the Heart and Stroke Foundation, and a little bit about heart disease. Absolutely, these events are actually incredibly important. I don't think that people realize that even the little things that we do make a huge difference to us. It does help us raise funds, which helps us with um, funding continuous research projects, spreading the word about heart disease and stroke, um, providing educational tools. But on a bigger level, it also helps us get the word out there about heart disease and stroke, which is really, really important to us. As you know, heart disease and stroke is the number one killer in Canada of both men and women. I'm not sure if people quite realize that, and they always think to themselves it's a bit of an old man's disease, but in fact, it's not. It's happening more and more often. Why um, is that? What's happening? You know, I think it's our lifestyles, the way we uh, live. It's, uh, you know, we're part of a generation that eats, uh, eats out a lot, so we're not controlling mm -hmm. what we eat. There's a lot of processed foods in our diet. Also, the amount of exercise that we do, or I say lack of exercise that we do. we don't do. <laughs> exactly. Being involved with you guys is amazing, and the fact that there's a very personal connection to the both yes. of you, yeah. I think just brings the cause home even more, and it really ensures that when you're speaking to your audience, you have such a passion in the way that you deliver it. So it is our honor, actually, to be involved with you guys. So thank you so much. Oh, well, thank, thank you, Vivian. Vivian. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Okay, cheers, everybody, to a healthy heart. I think I'm going to go for the uh, the Cab Shiraz, actually. Ryan, would you mind giving me a little bit of Cab Shiraz? And what are we drinking here, actually, Suzanne? We're drinking Girls' Night Out Wines, which is one of the uh, top wines here being sold in Ontario right now. Especially their Chardonnay. Chardonnay is the number one Chardonnay uh, sold, at, uh, sold in uh, the Ontario LCBOs. But what do, what do you have? Well, I've got their Cab Shiraz. Fabulous. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, this is like one big <laughs> fishbowl. No. <laughs> no, and this, actually, I like this wine. This is 83% uh, cab. And is it 17%? If I do the math properly, I'm sure as absolutely delicious. Nice, full body, wonderful blackberries. Oh, absolutely delicious. Gonna go great with a lot of the food that we have out there. Costa from Fortune Jewelers, mm -hmm. uh, located on Avenue Road here in Toronto. And so, Michael, these are my jewels, my dear. I've got uh -huh. some rubies here. I've got an uh, emerald and diamond bracelet. And my favorite diamonds and sapphires. That you're ready to part with. Well, if the price is if right. If the price is the right, price I'll is give right. it up. Right. But the price uh, has got to be right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Reseller, you might expect to get about, oh, maybe twenty-five hundred dollars okay. for that bracelet. Yes. Wow. See, aren't you glad I know that? To I didn't ask the right wow. question. Okay, you sure you don't want them? <laughs> yeah, that's right. And I want to say, uh, Lyle Blake from uh, Bernard Calibo in Oakville, he donated all these wonderful trays of these fantastic mm. chocolates, and I just want to say, say thanks to Lyle for that in support of the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Ontario. Thank you everybody for coming out tonight for our inaugural Heart of Gold party here at the Clarence Skin Spa in Yorkville. For the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Ontario, we raised a lot of money this evening, we had a lot of fun, we drank some wine, ate some chocolate. Thank you everybody. And thanks Roger. And thank you very much wine ladies.